to the clinical implications of this. Let's start with the mesocortical tract. The mesocortical tract which goes from here, if there's a failure of this mesocortical tract, then we get what is known as the negative symptoms of schizophrenia. The failure of the mesocortical tract produces negative symptoms of schizophrenia. One thing I forgot to mention, but which I'm going to mention now is the ventral tegmental area, the projections from the ventral tegmental area to all these structures are all dopaminergic projections. The ventral tegmental area is rich in dopamine and all its projections are dopaminergic projections. So to come back to where I was, failure of dopaminergic projections from the VTA to the cortex, mesocortical tract produces the negative symptoms of schizophrenia. And therefore, the mechanism of treating this negative symptom of schizophrenia is either to block the 5-HT2 receptors. If we block the 5-HT2 receptors in the mesocortical tract, then we allow the dopaminergic projections to continue onto the mesocortical system and alleviate the negative symptoms of schizophrenia.